to another episode of So Unprofessional. Yes. I'm Gus. This is Barksdale, the hostess with the mostest. I think somebody used that already. Me, bitch. Did you just call me a bitch? Nope. That's good. Because if you did, I would have punched you in the mouth. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 That's not happening. So, man, it was uh, Thanksgiving yesterday, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. You have a good Thanksgiving? Awesome sauce. Oh, awesome. You eat some, you eat some hog moss and some pig feet, some chitlins. You just ain't gonna acknowledge that, huh? So you just gonna ignore You have them? to ask me real questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, first question. What are you thankful for, sir? I'm thankful that I wasn't alive when the pilgrims came and took America from the indigenous people. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> anyway, what do you have in your hand, sir? Something you don't. Oh, well, anyway, I guess we can get started. So, mm-hmm. our first topic you want to talk about your favorite rapper's favorite rapper? Takashi 69. Oh no, fuck no. He's not my favorite rapper or anything. <laughs> so anyway. So it was reported, well, you know, he's locked up. Yeah. But it's reported that apparently um, he's been transferred uh, to a federal facility that is regularly used to house witnesses who cooperate with the feds. I mean, you already knew that he was going to start ranting as soon as it hit the fan. <laughs> like, first of all, you just don't fit in. You know what I'm saying? Like, this just. But he got, the, he got the sticky with the blicky. Like, you can make all those voices <laughs> icky with the sticky eye, uh, whatever the fuck you were singing. But when you looked at the videos, it was a whole bunch of niggas and one rainbow head Mexican. <laughs> you definitely not going to believe that he's the leader of the clique. Like, but he said, I got the sticky with the blicky eye. Yeah, he, but yeah, yeah, he got the pen with the paper eye. Uh. I mean, that's the only song I know. So. Yeah, so at the end of the day, I just knew, like, as soon as it came down, like, he got kidnapped, and then <laughs> Treyway Shoddy booked this nigga for a $2.5 million show and only gave him 300000 of it. And, and then Takashi go on uh, Breakfast Club talking about niggas trying to kidnap his moms and all of that those shit. Come on, man. He thought he was getting away. We're being a culture vulture, you know like, what I'm saying? He thought everybody was cool. Like but he's like, I'm the, the Mexican with the yeah, the funny hair, yeah. and they love me. But the culture actually <laughs> vultured him. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this nigga's sweet. Let's tie him up. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, and then then he come out. Oh, I fired everybody. Fuck Treyway. This and this and that. This and this and that. Nah, nigga, the feds ain't. Nah, <laughs> that shit ain't gonna work. Huh? You done hung with the gang bangers you all on Instagram. You in Chicago. You, you know what I mean? You might have been fucking police the whole time. Yeah, I was thinking about it, right? Because apparently now his lawyer's saying that it was all of a side that he's not really a, a gang member. We either. knew that. Yeah, but you know, you know, I've seen it where people take up for artists, talk about. You know, it's just music. Is it? I'm trying to figure out. You know, a lot of times they like to compare it to movie stars. Mm -hmm. But the difference between movie stars and rappers, with movie stars, they do interviews. They like Tom Cruise. They not uh, the dude from, uh, what's the movies again? Whatever movies Mm -hmm. in. So they act like themselves. Yeah. Whereas rappers, they like, I'm a gangbanger on... On, on the wax, wax. So and then when they do an interview, they be like, "I'm still a gangbanger." Yeah, and they say they're a gangbanger all the way up until they get locked up, and then all of a sudden, not I a knew that Chikashi <laughs> was sweet as Mexican pumpkin pie. I mean, yes, he got a six nine on his forehead. Like I knew it. <laughs> it was nothing you was going to tell me that this rainbow head Mexican motherfucker. Was walking around Brooklyn, smoking shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 like I, I'm just keeping it all the way a beam. Like, like, you just couldn't imagine the rainbow no, hair dude. Just- like, like, I just want everybody that's watching this, <laughs> and I don't give a fuck what hood you from, from Alaska to Nebraska, 
Maine to Spain, Turkey to Albuquerque. I don't care where you from. When you look at Takashi, <laughs> do you really think that he out here shooting shit up? <laughs> Neither did I. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it makes a little sense. Like, if if you got like if you like the only rainbow haired Mexican, and you shooting stuff up, you're easily identified. Bro, like, <laughs> first of all, don't nobody want to hang around no rainbow haired Mexican. Well, let, let's stop and say there's nothing wrong with Mexicans. He just happens to be Who Mexican. said that? I said that. All right. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, I'm not hanging with no rainbow head Mexican ever. You got him out here jacking up non-tray. Does he just put a whole lot of fucking disrespect on East Coast gang life? But he wasn't a gang member. But he was representing it. He was he was jacking Andre, Andre gangster. He was jacking that in there. Billy, that's what that Billy shit mean. Man. So like, like if he does want to rat, he already read it. Is it? Is he it, already read? Is, is it? I guess Treyway's fault that they let him into Who the, the fold. Who the fuck else fault is it? <laughs> like what the fuck did he ever do in his? short existence says that he deserved to represent a black gang. Like the motherfucker almost went to jail for statutory rape and molestation. To my knowledge, when you do those type of things, bad things happen to you in the jail and on the streets because you a fucked up person. So how the fuck did he ever get into a gang after touching kids? And then you got him repping your gang. He get beat up at L.A. at the airport. Niggas is punking him on tour. You got all this beef because you let a rainbow head Mexican join your gang. So yeah, I but if, 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 the, if the rainbow hair gentleman is getting 2.5 a show mm -hmm. and you get to keep 2.2, 2, that's why you keep him around. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm just saying, it sounds like that's... That's a good investment. Until, I mean, if we're bringing, until shit hits the fan. If we gonna have the rainbow hat Mexican around just so we can rob him for 98% <laughs> of his royalties and monies, then by all means, Takashi, Kibaski, what's the fuck is his name? Well, they said that's, what the yeah, fuck is his name? I mean, that's, that's why they said Chris Brown got to throw up, you know, he was Sue and everything. Cause he oh, because he was, he was, he was Jack and Brim? Cause he was yeah. he was paying to he, probably, he was paying listen, to be down. He probably was paying to kick it with the homies. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? That's quite possible. But this Takashi shit is something different. Because you mean to tell me this nigga was answering phone calls for Takashi? Like what folks be calling? <laughs> Yo, hello, this Treyway. Treyway. <laughs> Yo, uh, we looking to book the Rainbow Head Mexican for a two point five million dollar show. Oh, all right, son, we got you. <laughs> Just send it on mm -hmm. over. And then they call him up. Yo, what's up, son? What's up? Hey, they want your Mexican rainbow head ass out here for 300000 <laughs> And don't forget that you owe me 10%. <laughs> so he really smoked them. You think he really still got the 10% on really, the thing? Yeah, man. <laughs> he really smoked them for like... <laughs> two point two three of those monies, man. <laughs> Yo, Takashi a nut, bro. I, all this shit that's happening to him, he deserve it. He deserve every <laughs> minute into... of it. He deserve every minute of it for fucking <laughs> being a culture vulture for promoting gang activity that you're not a part of for touching kids for all that bullshit for all the shit he done did. Just in the realm of hip hop, he deserved that shit. Calm as a motherfucker, huh? Listen, bro. This motherfucker has violated more than Bobby Schmurder. And Bobby Schmurder got his whole team cooked. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, Caught a body by the wicked. Listen, dog. Listen, dog. The nigga, the nigga was like. Got my nigga Schmurder team out. Bitch, got a body by the and then them niggas book Mitch for the body he caught by the week ago. You know what I'm saying? 
The nigga said, I'm with John John, I'm with Sasha, I'm with A Rod. A Rod, 98 and a half years. Sasha, Rasha, 56 and a half years for letting the thing bark. Thanks a lot. Let me ask you a question, though. Mm-hmm. Seriously, though. What about it? It can't be about. It's not about, about, about Bobby Smurder, right? Mm hmm. My problem is not really Bobby. Mm-hmm. My problem is the people that he put in his songs. The fact that they were in a video and no one said, nigga. No. <laughs> and no one said, yo, no. you can't say Let that. <laughs> yo, if I was like, yo, Barstow caught a body by the week, you'd be like, what? what? <laughs> yo, for the yo, record, <laughs> Barstow did not catch a body about a week ago. Yo, that nigga caught a body about a week ago. <laughs> I'm just keeping this shit. I'm just keeping this shit real. Like, I blame every with the Bobby Smurder shit. I blame everybody, including Bobby Smurder, because when you recorded it and you decided that you was gonna put it on YouTube, no one tapped Bobby Smurder was like, "Yo, bro, you should probably take that shit." Hey, Rod. Then they was like, "Yo, but why, son? I'm kicking real shit, nigga. Yeah, and we're gonna go to jail." But what? But is it okay? Did they make it okay if, say, Raja re- retweeted it? Bro, all I know <laughs> is, is Raja was in the courtroom <laughs> and said to the judge, I have a daughter. Can I get some leniency on my time? And the judge was like, You thought a short, you should have thought about that before you pulled the trigger. <laughs> should have thought about that a Bye. week ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, them, listen, man, motherfuckers got roofed because Bobby Smurder. Wanted to keep it real. And just like Dave Chappelle said, when keeping it real goes wrong. And that's where it went wrong. And so, Takashi, you out here with the icky, uh, <laughs> sticky, got the blicky, uh. Yeah, now you in jail ratting. So if My by, boy King Erna snatched his honor. If yeah. by any chance he gets mm-hmm. out of it. Oh, he's getting out of it. He's getting out of it like, uh. Like Ray Liotta and Goodfellas. Do you, do you think pointing things out? Yeah. Are like, we are we at a point in our society where he's still going to have a career? No, he can't do nothing but hide. <laughs> like he gonna have to get all his tattoos removed. He in witness protection, bro. Takashi right now is like Peyton Manning at the line of scrimmage. He's the mic. Omaha, Omaha. <laughs> he's just pointing things out. He's <laughs> pointing them all out. Watch him, watch him! <laughs> Omaha! 50, yo, you watch how all these niggas go to jail. And they ain't gonna be able to spend all that money they stole from him, huh? Treyway Shotty already booked. That's 2.23 of the shit already uh, gaffled from the Mexican. I wonder if real Mexicans like feel slighted by Takashi. So he's not like. Yo, we 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 would have held you down. We, we protect you, SA. That's <laughs> it's fucking dope. <laughs> fucking mm. MS13 or something. Oh well, it'd be uh, listen. Yo, so, can we cut that out? What the MS13? I heard them niggas real. Okay, they are. I just don't want them to come for me. What the fuck did you say? You said it. All right then. Ain't I want them to come out. out? <laughs> Yo, Icky, I think he Oh my! Oh. <laughs> rats, bro. <laughs> That motherfucker is a wet. <laughs> Omaha! 55 to Mike! <laughs> Pointing niggas right out. Peyton Man in them niggas. <laughs> Tom Brady, the niggas. You know how my boy Tom Brady do part. Yeah, watch him! Watch the Sam! <laughs> Pointing niggas right out, bro. Whatever, bro. Just don't point me out. I wasn't there, Takashi. Yeah, what, what, what was they doing to that little nigga? <laughs> they kidnapped his mom. Yeah, they just brody in this bro, little nigga. They kidnapped the nigga <laughs> and took like 800,000 or 100,000 worth of jewels from him and then called him like, yeah, son, we just rescued you <laughs> from your would-be attackers. You good? Knowing goddamn well. That dumb niggas was the niggas that was like, yo, Smishmashi live right here. Let's just run in there and grip his little Mexican ass up right now and, and hold him for ransom. That gotta be sad. I mean, that's a sad life to live with the niggas around you, the one doing you dirty. You know what that's called? I'm gonna steal this word right from Philadelphia. Shout out Philadelphia for this good slang. That's called 
too much dicky in. <laughs> <laughs> to Kazi out here, just dicky in gang life, <laughs> dicky in African Americans, <laughs> and this was the dicky and got you. Robbed, kidnapped, mama have robbed, mama house shot up, beat up in the jail, witness protection, Peyton Man and all your co defendants in the courtroom. You the star witness now for Dickie and <laughs> I just wanna say a disclaimer. Stop Dickie. Mexicans are okay with us. Uh, that, this is my disclaimer for everybody. I don't care if you're white, purple, black, blue, or Asian. Stop Dickie and <laughs> Yo, that, that, that like, <laughs> yo, 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 that's that a lot shit of shit. Look like a storm. Yo, <laughs> they, oh, they putting in that work. They putting it in. They oh, fucked him up. You Canadian? <laughs> Fuck Canadians. <laughs> fucked him up. Uh-oh, you gonna tell us something. <laughs> they like, no, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> I have nothing against Virginia and shit, but is that like something you say scary and shit? Be like, you know where the fuck I'm from? First of all, they made it, they made it rain on Pusha T. Like, that shit looked like Noah's Ark. Storm. Yo, that was a lot of beer. A lot of beer and water. Second of all, fuck Toronto. And if I was from any part of America when I go to Toronto, I'm like, nigga, you know where I'm from? Y'all motherfuckers living this decadent life, fuck y'all. Don't throw no water at me. I just want to commend the homies that was riding with Pusha T. Because <laughs> they got into the crowd and got busy. It looked like they were happy that it happened. Like, they were like, this what we been waiting for <laughs> the whole tour. Been waiting and, to and whoop then, some ass, huh? Yeah, and then Pusha T on his fucking, like, Twitter and Instagram, after the shit happened, was like, yeah, and just for the record, that was a Canadian getting his ass beat in the crowd by my peoples. That he said, and, and I was like, wow. So apparently, <laughs> some dude was arrested, right? Because he went into a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, his name is Mr. Arthur Posey. He walked in a restaurant. And said, yo, I'm about to blow this shit up. <laughs> but he was talking about the bathroom. <laughs> yo, that's listen. He went to the bathroom and they called the cops on I his ass. I respect him just because he gave them a heads up. Like, you know what I mean? You walk in somebody's crib and you know you about to defile they bathroom. You got to give them a heads up like, yo, bro. You got some spray or something, niggas. I'm about to blow this shit up. But he actually got the cops called on him. Yeah, I mean, he was black, and they really thought they were going to blow shit up. But they didn't really realize, like, it don't be black people that be blowing shit up. Yeah. So. That's the type of shit that happens on Thanksgiving. Like, people come over to your house to eat, and they tear up your bathroom so and I don't shit. invite people over. If I don't invite you over, then you can't shit at my house. Yeah, that's not good, mm. man. That was Are you the type of nigga to shit at people's house? If I got to shit at your house, I'm going to let you know I'm shitting in your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll fuck your bathroom up, bro, if I got to. And yeah, personally, I, I can't hold it and make my stomach hurt and shit. I'm just gonna have to let it go. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let it rip, bro. Sometimes you gotta let it go. Gotta let it go. Just with, another with kiss. Sticky, uh, icky got the blicky eye. Uh. We're back on that. That motherfucking uh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this shit just makes my whole Friday much better with this whole Takashi thing. I know we on a whole nother segment, but. That motherfucker, bro. He was hard as nails this summer. <laughs> this summer, he was hard as nails. Shooting up everything. You know what I mean? Come on. Fee fee. All that bullshit. Now that motherfucker riding, running for his fucking life. I wonder how. 
I wonder how that video is going over. What video? Me sitting Indian style, eating ice cream with, <laughs> with Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Niggas in jail, happy about that. If they ever, they won't never catch him again. That shit crazy. Niggas scheming on his Mexican boy butt. <laughs> Alright, so I got another one. Did you see uh, Kevin Durant? Oh, when he told Chris him, sit the, the fuck up and, and enjoy the game. So uh, it's shit. right here. When he told him. <laughs> <laughs> so the boy called him a cupcake. Okay. He decided to come over and tell him to shut the fuck up. Yeah, he told him to sit, sit down and shut the fuck up. I mean, I think, I, I don't have a problem with it. I think that Durant has, I mean, I, I guess it's like twofold. Like, the type of money Durant get and the type of player he is, you don't have to feed into the peasants. You could kill them with kindness by just winning the game. You know how angry Cleveland is with Durant right now? Cleveland? Mm-hmm. Why is Cleveland upset with him? Because he just whooped their ass eight games to one in the last two finals. Oh. See, my issue is, and I, I know it's cliche now, but I feel he, he needs to keep that energy, keep that same energy. Why? When niggas team? like Draymond Green says shit to him. But that's my thing. Why are we going to argue with Draymond Green? He's so expendable. <laughs> like, you got cousins right here on the bench just chomping at the bit. And you got this guy that don't want to pass the ball to our best player on the court. When well, Jerry Mike Green, he said he wants a mass contract. Jerry, he better go get a mass contract from Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> he ain't going to get no mass contract from fucking Golden State. You think some, You think anybody's stupid enough to give him a mass contract? I know some people are <laughs> stupid enough to give him a max contract. Probably Philadelphia. They're not going to give him a max contract. Nope. You about to give Jimmy Butler a max contract? Jimmy Butler's max contract ain't ain't the same as a as a uh, as a uh, what the fuck? Draymond Green. Draymond Draymond Green. Why? Max contract. One of them is a champion, two time champion, three time champion, a defensive player of the year, and uh, he's recognized as like the heart and soul of the most recent dynasty in the NBA. And all Jimmy Butler is is somebody who had a whole team implode because he beat the starters <laughs> with four bench players, <laughs> then cussed the coaches out and walked out the practice facility. He said, I got the sticky with the blicky, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, no. Uh, I'm down with Kevin Durant, so whatever energy he exudes, I'm, I'm co-signing it. You think you want to stick around with the Warriors? Fuck no, he's out. Where do you think you're going to go? Lakers, baby. So LeBron going to be passing the ball to Durant? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They'll win three, and then uh, LeBron will retire, and, and Durant will stay there. They're going to win three. Yeah, they'll win three straight. Yeah. So Nobody's LeBron going to be like 37, 38 still playing? Hey, man, LeBron James is a wave rider, bro. He just going to go wherever the wave is. <laughs> That's pretty much about it. Learning that from Jigga, huh? Yep. That's his old hit. If it works, it works. Yeah, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I know Takashi 6 9 upset about riding that wave, though. Wave crashed. Yeah, man. He's going to jail for huh? Dickie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the theme for today is stop fucking Dickie. So, next one we got, headline, Therese says his ex-wife refuses to get a job and thinks running errands is work. Um, apparently, his, apparently his ex-wife feels like uh, he went to court for child support and he's like, she needs to get a job. Because not only does he have to pay child support, he has to pay lawyer fees for well, then, well, going to court. Crying, like, one more day works <laughs> for me. I was like, yo. That's the Tyrese from the Coca-Cola commercial. What happened to Black Ty that was all gangster since he was in Baby Boy? So apparently she goes to court. They ask like, you know, the daughter's like 13. Wow. So he's like, what are you doing? You, you ain't working. She says, I am working. I'm working on my book. I'm working on my life. I'm running errands. Mm. So I just wonder as a man, how mm. does it feel to be like having to finance somebody who just doesn't have to work? Uh, I mean, I think it's two ways to look at that. If if she 
is a better housewife than a uh, money maker, then I mean, I think it goes. I think it's like give and take. Like she creates a home, and you give her a house to turn to a home. But then he, he, he's not with her. Oh yeah, and so she it's just her. Like shit. It's her and a thirteen year old kid, and yeah, she and they living off the child support he paid monthly. Yeah, yeah, she ain't shit, bro. But that's Tyrese. Everybody, every, all, all these bitches be the shit when you hit them raw, and then as soon as they get pregnant and start turning the system against you, now you like Takashi six nine. You know what I mean, crying, and f- crying for your how life. Did you try, how did you get it back to Takashi? Because I just think everything that got something to do with bitching or being <laughs> a bitch is like that should be the new word. Like you acting like Takashi right now. Mm. Mm. You getting your Takashi on? Huh? Yeah. I That's went, some Takashi ass shit. I right went through there, shorty was like fucking Takashi. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't be Takashi right now, son. Yeah. I stayed out late, man. Went came home, wife started lady. acting like Takashi. Came in the crib, my lady was like Takashi, bro. <laughs> what you mean? She, I came in. Take it up, <laughs> I walked in. I walked in at five a.m. and she was like, "I got the sticky with the blicky eye." <laughs> with the sticky eye. I'm like, "Babe, stop fucking digging it." <laughs> Yo, if that shit go viral, we ain't never gonna get no uh, recognition for that. What? They gonna be like, "Yo, that's some Takashi ass shit you doing right there." Yeah, man. Oh well. Legal is that like the new new Joe? You know, like in Philly, it's yeah. like, yo, you acting real Joe. You acting Joe. Now it's like, yeah. yo, we ran up on that nigga. That nigga turned right to Takashi. Bitching. Bitching and telling. Bitching and telling. Bitching and telling. Man, as soon as that nigga got booked, I do his. I, I do his name was gonna come across my paperwork. Takashi. <laughs> Plain as fucking day. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all, all bitch ass rules lead back to Takashi. Everything Tekashi. that got to do with bitching and ratting is Takashi. <laughs> okay. So apparently, Kate Michelle was on Instagram going back and forth with her fans. Mm-hmm. And someone called her a wannabe Dage Loaf. For some reason, she just came out of nowhere and was like, I want to sleep with Dage Loaf. Okay. I don't know. D- Dej Loaf is like, Dej Loaf like a skinny young boy. Shit. You think she's sexy? When she like, when she like dressed like girly, yeah, I know. You know, the crazy thing with Dej Loaf, like how we was introduced to Dej Loaf, she was talking about shooting niggas with Max and Tex. <laughs> and I was just thinking to myself, like, I'm not buying into no chick that be like, you know, I got the Mac and the Tommy. Like, if you just sing about guns like that, I just, I'm not, I don't believe you. Cause like, let me you catch a try, body. Yeah, just try me, try <laughs> me. You got to kill your whole motherfucking family. <laughs> no. I wasn't buying this shit from Dave's Loaf any fucking way. You didn't think she was going to kill your whole family. You like how she made that round though. She's family. Listen, man, all Dave's Loaf. Nah, I'm going to chill. I'm going to just say, like... I wasn't buying Dage Loaf. So when Dage Loaf started to act a little bit more feminine, and I was like, ah, that's the Dage Loaf that, I wanted, that I've been here to come to see. You know what I'm saying? So if Dage Loaf and K. Michelle fuck, I mean, more power to them. I would like to be there. Mm. Or even videotape it. Think that would be a, good, a great seller? What? A videotape of K. Michelle and Dage Loaf? Not really. <laughs> like nobody care about K Michelle no more. She done took the ass implants out and the titty implants. Well, she out. did it for her health. It's cool, but now you now you don't have a fat ass. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Yeah, but right? it's about her singing talent. Nobody gave a fuck about her singing talent. We only cared that she had a fat ass. We don't say all of us. Oh. People don't like me cared. You're a liar. I cared about the songs that she sung while she was while her back was turned to the camera. Absolutely not. Okay, so. I'll, it's not what I did. Okay. Do you believe me? No. Why the fuck would I ever believe you? Because I'm light skin. That's why I don't. <laughs> <sighs> so, so do you, would you still, would you still listen to her music even though she doesn't have an ass Mm-mm. anymore? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
So that's the only thing that was bringing you to the table? You lied to me in the beginning anyway because I thought the ass was real. I just thought she was some cornbread fed down south chick. I mean, I think her ass was just a little too big. No, I... I, I to be I've real, per se. I've seen little short chicks like K. Michelle with real fat asses that was real. So I just thought, okay, K. Michelle, you got all this fucking turkey. And then to find out it was fake and... It was just bullshit. And it was too much with K. Michelle, man. Like, I got like I I can't ever say I ever bought any of K. Michelle music, but I liked her ass. So, so if she walked through the door right now, you would turn her away. Turn her away like she wanted to chew my dick or something. I wouldn't yeah, say. Are we allowed to say that like she wanted to chew my dick? <laughs> he can bleep it out. Oh, uh, okay. She wanted to give you oral relations. So if K. Michelle walks through the door and says. It's Buckster, I want to chew your dick. Or relations. And so, you want to know what I'm going to do? Yes, would you Would you push her away? Yes, because I'm spoken for. Good job. <laughs> Licky, ah, uh, Icky with the sticky, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh my bad. Don't be on that Takashi ass shit. We trying, we trying to do that. Yo, man, the stop, outro. stop Takashi ass man. <laughs> you can't say that though, cause it's like if you say stop Takashi, ass, like he ran and bitching. So you gotta choose yeah. which one. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like was, was it ratting and bitching or ratting or just bitching? Well, it, I guess it's how you use the term. Yeah. So stop being a Takashi ass nigga. So like. If, if like you was about to go tell on somebody, like if you was in school, yeah, you about to go to tell the teacher. Yo, don't do that Takashi shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come home, your wife giving you a headache. Babe, stop acting like fucking Takashi. You on that Takashi ass shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? And then. Like if it was a dude that just wants to be down with you, but he's not really part of the group. Stop fucking digging. <laughs> <laughs> See, you being all with that Takashi ass shit. Yo, the, yo, this is rapper from Philly, man. His name is uh Tech Nod. And uh <laughs> His name's not Tech Nod, is it? His name is Tech We already got a Tech Nod. Yeah. He's not in Philly. Yeah, he's from Philly, he's from like Wayne Ave. But you can't and, be Tech Nod. Like, he like in the smacking URL battles and shit. And uh, and uh uh he told the nigga in the rap battle, he said, uh, too much dicky in. Too much fake that. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Never mind. Too much Takashi. Yeah, man. Anyway, man. Y'all been <laughs> thanks for checking us out, man. Make sure you uh you tune in to us on the headquarters media YouTube channel. Yep. Make sure you subscribe. Yup. You know what I mean? This is Barksdale, I'm Gus. You can yep. always check us out on uh Stay Talking Ish. Dot com yep. at Stay Talking Ish on Instagram. Yep. We got so unprofessional.com. That's right. So unprofessional show on Instagram. Yeah. You know what I mean? We I'm on, Ish Barksdale. We already, I already said that. No, nigga, my, let me shout out my Instagram. Don't nobody care about your Instagram. That's why I got more followers than you. I don't care. You shut up. That's what I'm saying. You always got that Takashi in your blood. I don't know if you used it in the correct. We gonna work on it though. By next episode, we gonna yeah, we gonna have that shit yeah, down. Yeah, with the sticky eye. <laughs> Clicky with the icky eye. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck you said. But the cops know what he said. <laughs> that, motherfucker, <laughs> that motherfucking statement is real clear and concise. They gave you that shit to Kasi. Who did it? Clicky with the icky eye. Clicky, sticky, sticky eye. No, no, Takashi English. It was, uh. <laughs> it, it was shoddy. It was shoddy. Billy <laughs> Otto and the boys. Yeah, man. You motherfucking rap bitch. Yo, make sure y'all check us out, man, on Big Bad Radio every Friday, every 6 Friday. to 8. Six, yeah. Man, these headquarters media dudes, man, they doing their thing, man. Shit, love. I appreciate them. They give me a platform to have more laughter. Like, I've laughed so much today. I'm hoping that uh, our listeners and our viewers will find humor in this shit the way I'm finding it. Like, I cannot wait for this episode to come out because I know that 
it's going to be hilarity. You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. That's what happens when you got the blicking. Ugh. That fucking rat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace. All right, y'all, peace.